You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Tuesday, February 18th, 2020, Cycle Day 4. I'm Aspen Miller. And I'm Mackenzie Jenkins. Before we take it to our announcements, the high school would like to congratulate and recognize the following students as January Students of the Month. For 9th grade, Emma Forey and Christopher Reeves. For 10th grade, Samantha Woodling and Louis Dukes. 11th grade, Mackenzie Gross and Seth Seidel. And 12th grade, Kylie Hausman and David Frock. Let's take it to our announcements. Miss Newcomb could still use a few more ushers for the musical. Check your schedule and see if you can help usher this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and or Sunday, and if you can stop by the library to sign up. Remember, you will get community service hours if you need them. To current Mamma Mia ushers, please check Schoology for report times and dress code. Also, there will not be a meeting before the musical. If you have any questions, please see Miss Newcomb. Thanks again for volunteering. There are a limited number of Mamma Mia t-shirts for sale. If you are interested in purchasing one, they are available in the library gift shop for $10. Get yours before they are all gone. See Ms. Newcomb or Mrs. Seifert for more details. If you had ceramics this past fall and have not picked up your ceramic projects that you left behind, please do so by next Friday. Space is needed for current student work. Plan on bringing in a box as boxes are limited. NHS Dramatics will present the smash Broadway hit Mamma Mia on February 20th, 21st, and 22nd at 7 and on Sunday, February 23rd at 2 p.m. This production features over 60 talented NHS students in a high-energy, fun-filled show with great songs by the pop group ABBA. Everyone will recognize the songs such as Dancing Queen, Waterloo, Money, 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 Super Trooper, I Do, I Do, I Do, and of course, the title song, Mamma Mia. Ticket order forms are available in room 312. Come join us for what promises to be a terrific show. Students interested in the second annual Tate Mural Contest should pick up an entry form. The winning mural wall art will earn $100. Completed entry forms, including a $10 entry fee, should be turned into an art club officer or Mrs. Shedden in room 416 by March 5th. This year's theme is for the kids. Last year's winning images were Alexis Trinidad with a first place win, and second place winners Kelly Eimenheiser, Emily Rao, and Abigail Waples. Students who are planning on going to the Envirothon competition in April need to talk to their parents, clubs, sports teams, and directors about coming to a study session led by some of the station leaders from 2.45 p.m. to 4 p.m. today in Mrs. Middleton's room, room 815. Please let Mrs. Middleton know if you are planning on coming to these study sessions. Snacks will be provided. Are you looking for a fun way to celebrate Mardi Gras this year? Come out to Friendly's on Locks Road on Tuesday, February 25th from 5 to 8 p.m. and support the National French Honor Society at our dine-in. There will be face painting and crafts and 10% of sales for that evening go to support our field trip in April. You do not need a flyer for this event. Diversity Club would like to invite you to partake in our next Civil Discourse on Thursday, February 20th during AP in the main cafe. The Civil Discourse for the third marking period will be about bullying. This includes name calling, physical assault, cyberbullying, and misappropriation of racial slurs. If you are interested in signing up, please complete the Google form on Schoology no later than Wednesday, February 19th. Now let's send it to sports. Good morning, Bobcats. Last night, our boys basketball team faced off against Muhlenberg High School in the District 3 Class 5A first round game. The team fought hard but unfortunately lost 61-66. to The team will be competing in the District 3 5A consolation bracket on Thursday at 7 p.m. We'll be hosting Hershey for that game. All tickets will be sold at the door. Adult tickets are $6 and student tickets are 4 Doors will be opening at 6 p.m. And a look at social media this morning, Dr. Seidel posted this shot of students who were in attendance at last night's board meeting. You'll also see Mr. Gay in the background if you look carefully. Earlier in the show, we announced the students of the month, but have you ever wondered who else was considered for this honor? Mrs. McLean has posted the names of the 10th grade students who are nominated recently. They are Clayton Wiley, Kyle Renner, Ty Stauffer, Alejandra Esteban Elias, Liba Khan, Alexia Tyler, and Ashlyn Shit. Shit. Con congratulations to being nominated for grade 10 student of the month. We've got a couple of 
summer camp programs to highlight from Dr. Bierker this morning. The first is for those who are interested in the environment, design, and a sustainable future. Temple University is hosting a summer camp program with hands-on projects, lectures by practicing professionals, and an introduction to the latest computer-aided technologies. This camp is two weeks long and helps introduce students interested in Temple University to their metropolitan campus and Philadelphia's cultural highlights. Partial scholarships are available and you can get more details from the post on Schoology. And if you're a current junior of Latino Heritage, you can apply to attend the five-day overnight college empowerment conference this summer with two locations to choose from. The first is held at the University of Chicago and the second is held at the University of South Carolina. Best of all, this opportunity is free. To check out eligibility requirements and application information, look for the post on Schoology. On our lunch menu for today is boneless wings with dinner roll. Tomorrow's breakfast will be breakfast pizza. Tomorrow's lunch will be chicken pot pie with Dutch waffle. We'll be right back with weather after this. Thanks, Fatu. Right now, it's feeling like 36, but the actual temperature is 39. It's a bit cloudy out, and the wind speed is pretty all right. Let's take it to the five day. Now, this Wednesday, we're looking at some sun, finally, but it's going to be 44. And on Thursday, it's going to get cloudy again, be mid 30s. Friday, we're going to see a bit warmer. 37, same with Saturday, and the temperature just gets pretty nice on Sunday, high 51. We'll be right back after this. This day in black history, Paul Williams was born in 1894. He was a very talented architect and worked extremely hard for the many clients he had, even going days without sleeping or eating. To learn more about black history, visit aaregistry.org. NHS Dramatics presents this year's musical, Mamma Mia, with shows February 20th through February 23rd at Northeastern High School's Auditorium. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday shows are at 7 p.m., and Sunday's show is at 2 p.m. Tickets for students and seniors are $8 and $10 for adults. For reservations, call 717-266-7349 or visit nhsdramatics.org. Hi, I'm Aspen, and I'm here with Mr. Dittrich. How are you? I am super. How are you? Great, thanks. So we're going to talk about tracks today. Um, some students have noticed that there are signs around the school with QR codes. Can you explain what those are? Absolutely. So our faculty and staff have given over 4,000 tracks tickets so far this year, and we wanted to kind of expand that opportunity so that we can give thanks and appreciation from all different groups of people to pretty much everybody, including teachers and staff. So uh, these are outside like every door and it's an attempt to um, give everybody a chance to just say thanks and show appreciation. Um, how do you fill out those forms? It's easy. Just uh, use your phone. Everyone seems to have one. Um, scan the QR code. It'll pop up to a Google form. It'll record your student email uh, and you put in your name the uh, comments you'd like to leave for the fact that your staff that you're leaving it for, mm -hmm. and uh, it's delivered every week. Very nice. Yeah. Um, where can a student find these posters? So they're outside every classroom, and then the posters themselves will be up in almost all of the common areas that we have, the auditorium area, cafeteria, outside the gym, some of the big lobbies, you know, those kinds of things. Um, and is there anything else you would like to add? I, just that I, I really appreciate the fact that so many people are working so hard to make this school a better place to spend our time and work together and learn together. Uh, it makes for a better community for all of us and it's something that I think we should strive for. Yes, I completely agree. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Dittrich. Hey, it's my pleasure, Aspen. Thank you for this amazingly awesome interview. Of course. Have a fantastic day, Bobcats, and don't forget to stay classy.